Technology is giving us an almost real-time insight into what's happening in Ukraine. These satellite pictures of a giant Russian convoy, a hugely significant example of that. Russian vehicles strung out for about 40 miles. But what are they? Tanks? Fighting vehicles? Missile carriers? It seems not. The satellite photos I've seen seem to be almost entirely logistic trucks. We must assume that they are full of ammunition, fuel and food and water. Um, without that delivery of those supplies, a uh, Russian attack on Kiev could be quite difficult for them. The convoy appears to be a 40-mile manifestation of how the Russian military is not managing its logistics. In all the pre-invasion video releases from Moscow, great play was made of Russia's firepower and offensive capabilities. Maybe Kremlin military planners believed their own spin and thought victory would be decisive and, most of all, happen quickly. Perhaps that's why rudimentary basics like fuel, ammunition and food seem to have been overlooked. In retrospect, it's quite interesting that none of the civilian satellite photos uh, produced by agencies such as Maxar before the war showed much in the way of supply dumps, dumps of fuel, dumps of ammunition. Um, they did show field hospi hospitals, and it may be that Russia was hugely over-optimistic that they would be welcomed by the Ukrainian civilians, and the Ukrainian army wouldn't put up much of a, a much resistance. Yet maybe our analysis is oversimplistic. Maybe they are getting all they need through, and perhaps they're using rail. Russian footage again shows how they operate in this way, using rail to transport all they need. But that does have its limits. They need to be transferred from rail to roads. And travelling in trucks, they're much less mobile across country when Ukraine has control of the roads. And they're also much more vulnerable to ground attack, artillery or, or airstrikes. Recent pictures released by the Russian MOD showing supply trucks on the move. There's no way to know whether this is authentic or not. But the very release of these images seems to show that Moscow is aware of its logistical woes and wants a different narrative out there. But even if the supplies are trundling through, it's a perilous task they face. I wouldn't want to be a linear convoy of, say, a dozen trucks to a forward uh, Russian battalion and sh unloading the ammunition and refueling all the vehicles at the same time as there was a Ukrainian artillery or airstrike. And that remains a real possibility, because far from this war being over quickly, the Ukrainian military is still fighting strongly, contrary to what most people thought, perhaps especially the Russian military. Tim Cooper, Forces News. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe.